well experienced with an RSID assessment? Uh, just, just that really, a, a, a very experienced uh, Irish team that we had an opportunity to play in and when, I think when we all saw and certainly uh, when, when their team sheet went round um, I was pretty excited and all the boys were pretty excited and I think yes, a heavy scoreline defeat but I think there's an awful lot to take from not just individually but collectively as well. Of, um, uh, of, from what we did, from what we did do in the game, and how long it did take them to, to, to work it out. And the uh, the last sort of eight minutes in each half tend to make the score fl really flat at London Arsenal. I think it did. Yeah, I think that the the effort of what the the guys had done, the effort of what the guys had done in the first half, especially physically and definitely in, around the contact area and defensively, it definitely took us a toll a little bit. We got one or two knocks just before half time. And you were just trying to manage guys through into that half time period where you can, have a, you can check them out a bit better. But yeah, that, that sort of seven seven or eight minutes just before half time where they, they did get a couple of scores and it maybe ran, ran away with the scoreline a little bit. And then definitely uh, from sort of 70 to 80 minutes in, in, the, in the full game. What, what positives do you take from it? Well, I've just had three year 13, under 18s met the make either a, a further a further appearance in, in Tajuata but then Sam Spink and, and Cam uh, Cam Anderson um, making making the debuts as, as a start on a bench. Um, other guys that have been regularly out on with the with the loan clubs in, in the national leagues and uh, championship they're, they're coming back and they're either making further appearances for the first team and building and, and, and getting getting more exposure against what is a premiership team there where, where they're in front of Dyer, they're in front of Lee, they're in front of Phil and Andy. So I think there's an awful lot that we can take there. Uh, Will Stewart had a, a good game and, and Taj uh, Atta also played well. I think he saved a couple of tries in the tackling. Yeah, T Taj has got a bit of a knack of, uh, of managing to cover across and, uh, and, and score, uh, sorry, and, 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 and save, save, a, save a scoring opportunity for the opposition. But I think uh, I think Tom and uh, and, and Will at, at Luton and, and Tighthead have, have done fantastically well. They had great competition there. It's good good for uh, the first team coaches to see that. I think not just in the scrum, but I think what they were able to add in a big physical effort in the scrum that they're going to have every week if they are playing Premiership. But then back that up again and around the park. But then with the guys coming off the bench in in, in George. Who's a little bit, little bit behind in, term, in terms of age, but uh, he's, he'll be certainly be catching up with what he's doing national league and chasing, uh, chasing Tom West in front of him. But also uh, Jack, who's coming and, and done a couple of, uh, a couple of games in the A League, but now in the uh, in the Anglo as well. So lots of plus points for you there. Yeah, definitely at all across and, and 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 in the back row, the guys who've been playing regularly. Hey, we've had a lot of results like that in the A League, but great fun to pull a first uh, first team jersey on for Ross and. and and get some some better exposure against the better opposition to play. And are they sort of downbeat? Are they despondent? Or of course they are on, on the on this on the score. Yeah. Of course they are. They wanted to win the game. There's there's no professional rugby player that don't want to go out and win. We all wanted to win, definitely. I can step back a little bit and, and think about some of the positives that way of player progression and player transition. Me talking to the guys after the game, they probably don't want to hear it right, and, it, and, it, and even the guys who are in that situation don't want to hear it right then. But then Monday morning, when they're thinking about it, and think, hey, you know what? I've just been the first team debut, or I've just played 50 minutes, or 60 minutes, or another 80 minutes under my belt, and it's only then when they can step back and they'll be better for it in the long run. And you had to drag Taj out of school this morning. Uh, yeah, there's been a little bit of uh, there's been a little bit of. Uh, support from uh, uh, the, the three the three schools across our, our, our region and, and certainly talking to heads, talking to, to rugby coaches at the schools and the massive support that we do get just the same from the schools and, and us wanting to, to continue working and building those uh, relationships but just the same that we want to do with the long clubs as well because there's been national league games this week, there's been championship games this week as well and now they've been supportive of us just as the school are. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You.